Hello and welcome to this segment of Arts Talk. I'm Sherry Burr and my special co-host for this segment is Ed Provincio. Welcome, Ed. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. My pleasure. And our guest is Debbie Smith, who's a television writer and who writes lots of interesting things. So, Ed, why don't you ask Debbie the first question? Great, Debbie. I guess the first question is how did you uh, get into a career as a writer? Um, I, I sort of lucked into it. <laughs> I w had been writing since I was eight years old, mm. and um, I moved to California from Ohio and was just working regular jobs, but I started going to writing conventions, something else you mentioned as well, right. and I met somebody there who said, you should be writing for television. And I was like, uh -huh, yeah, right, I, I know about you guys, you know, but um, he, he actually worked as a writer's assistant on a television show called Tour of Duty, mm -hmm. and they needed another person, so I quit my job. I went to work for Tour of Duty, um, learned how to write scripts on the job. Mm -hmm. I was a writer's assistant. My next job on Trials of Rosie O'Neill, I wrote a script, and they bought it and produced it. Mm -hmm. So it was, I was very lucky. <laughs> so if they tell you you can't sell spec script, that's not true. I've done it. I know you've, you've actually written quite a bit in the horror genre as well. Yes. Tell us uh, about that. That's kind of an interesting turn, I guess. Um, so I wrote for a show called Touch by an Angel, and my executive producer, Martha Williamson, really hated the fact that I also wrote horror. And the way I explained it to her is that it's the same story. You've got the same morals. You've got the same message. It's just told from the dark side instead of from the light side. And I like exploring the dark side. I think we all have dark sides. I think it's, uh, you know, crazy to say that we don't. And um, really good horror is a moralistic message. So I'm not talking slasher movies. <laughs> I'm talking Stephen King. He's got great stories. Um, so I love doing that. And I love it because people don't expect it from me. <laughs> I was going to ask because I know um, Tim Burton, actually Helena Bonham Carter, who are married, mm -hmm. um, they actually joke about how uh, much of uh, how much of their macabre outlook on things comes home with them and they're decorating around the house. Do you do you bring it home with you as well? Or? Yes, you do. So the house is a little. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> would, we, would we be scared of your house? <laughs> no, okay. no, but but. But uh, you might be afraid of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I do have skull candle sticks, and uh, in my bookcase with um, some of the anthologies I've written for horror anthologies, I have this cool thing I found at Target. And it looks like a row of books, but if you push it, it goes, it starts shaking. It says, tells of horror, tells of the dark. <laughs> so yeah, you'll, you'll find things like that around the, my house, yes. And will there be things that remind people of Touched by an Angel as well? Um, if you look in the bookcases, because there were a lot of books uh, mm -hmm. put out, you know, about Touched by an Angel. And one of my episodes, um, A Delicate Balance, was turned into a, a YA novel oh. and things like that. But um, at the moment, I don't have anything hanging on the walls. Okay. <laughs> what was that episode about, A Delicate Balance? Um, it was a gymnast ep episode, and it was, it was about a, um, and actually, it was very exciting, because it had Bart Connor, Bart um, Natalie Komenich, and mm. Mary Lou Retton wow. in the episode. So it was about gymnastics and about um, loss of a parent and, you know, and recovering from that. Now, I know you, you, there are two projects that you and I discussed um, uh -huh. a little bit. Uh, one of them is a novel you're working on right now. Uh -huh. 
um, which I believe was described as a paranormal novel set in present-day America. Yes. Could, could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I actually had a um, editor from Ace Books, Ginger Buchanan, say she'd like to see something from me that was set in the world of television. And so I love the paranormal romance or paranormal mystery novels, Charlene Harris and Patricia Briggs. So um, my novel, The Dead of Night, uh, no, Dead of Winters, <laughs> is uh, set in the world of television about a woman who can see ghosts and has her own destiny. And she lives on Venice Beach and she is just beginning in television and I draw a lot on my own knowledge. However, it is not autobiographical. <laughs> she's dead, I'm not. <laughs> and uh, she sees, sees ghosts everywhere, and I just see them every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully none in this room. <laughs> what about, the, um, I know I think you're, you're also working on a short film project? That's very exciting. I wrote a fairy tale set in the Southwest Desert. And I wrote it as a short story. It's coming out this month in Shimmer magazine called The Girl Who Lost Her Way. And I adapted that to a short film. I found an artist because I want to do uh, like Elsie's picture books, only in film. And um, Laura Parker is narrating it for me. She is the original Angelique on Dark Shadows. See, I always bring the horror in. <laughs> and uh, she did a wonderful job. I had a lot of people donate their time. and. Um, I'm now applying for the Governor's Cup for a grant to get the animation part done. Oh, that sounds great. Let's ask our audience if there are any questions for Debbie Smith about her horror writing or Touch by an Angel. <laughs> yes, Debbie? Um, can you describe your writing process a little bit? Do you wait for inspiration? Do you just you know, sit down every day from 9 to, to noon or something? How do you get yeah. started? You know, I, I don't believe you can wait for inspiration. I believe that you can invite inspiration into your life. So I do sit down, even when I really don't want to sit down at the computer. I sit down at the computer. If I'm having a difficult day, I read over what I've already done. And usually what happens, inspiration finds me then, mm -hmm. um, because I'll start noodling with what I've done, editing that, and then it will just get me into the mood and I'll just you know, a couple hours have gone by. So do you sit down at a precise time on no. a daily basis? No. <laughs> I'm an Aquarian. I can't be precise. Okay. Um, I get up, I eat breakfast, I do my email, and however long that takes me, then I go up and, like, wash my face and brush my teeth and go to work. So, uh, you know, some days, like if we have first Fridays, mm -hmm. I will leave and go, go to a meeting uh, and then come back and write. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like to just stay home, have a little bit of lunch, and continue writing till about 3 o'clock. Okay. So you mentioned First Fridays. You might as well tell the audience what that is. Okay. First Fridays is a group of professional writers here in New Mexico uh, who meet to just talk about what's going on in their work and their lives. And if you have any questions, it's an incredible knowledgeable pool of writers, uh, you know. And Sherry is a part of that, so if we have entertainment law questions or copyright questions, she's who we go to. If we have pictures on how to do, I mean, uh, questions on how to do picture books, we go to Elsie. So it's really a wonderful uh, organization that, and we, more, we meet the first Fridays of every month. So it's great. Any other questions for Debbie? Ed. I've got one last question. I know, um, I know you're pretty involved in terms of teaching with, I think, the, the Girls Film School in Santa Fe. Um, I know another screenwriting, I think, organization here in New Mexico. Does that, do, you, do you find inspiration in teaching, or do you gather inspiration mm -hmm. from your students at all? I do. I love, I love teaching, actually, um, especially screenwriting. Um, I just you know, was talking to a high school here who, who's thinking about bringing screenwriting into their program. Um, and I taught on Maui at the community college there. And I, I just I love working with writers. Writers are so exciting, and they have such great ideas and such great energy. So I receive as much from my students as, you know, they receive from my teaching, hopefully. <laughs> so, yes. That's great. That's, That's great. Well, That's thanks wonderful. so much for joining us here at Arts Talk. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining thank you. us. Thank you, Ed. And thank you, the audience, for joining us for this segment of Arts Talk with Debbie Smith and Ed Provincio. Thank you.